It's a beautiful day in the Carolinas and today we're visiting Carowinds Amusement Park in our quest to visit every Cedar Fair amusement park in America. So we've got Knott's Berry Farm, King's Dominion, and today we'll be doing Carowinds for our first time ever. So we're gonna bring you along as we explore, ride some world-class roller coasters and attractions, and have a great time, so let's go. We're staying at the Spring Hill Suites Marriott, which is a great hotel to stay at for Carowinds because you can walk right across the way and you're in the park. And here's the walkway, so cool, with the coaster tracks over it. Nice way to enter, right? I have a feeling that's what we're riding first. It looks like the Festival of Music is going on today. There's definitely some big school groups, festival of music going on. They're all cheering, having a great time. Here they go into the park. Our plans for this road trip got changed a little bit. So we're here on a different day than we originally planned, but we're just so excited to be here on this beautiful spring day. One cool thing about Carowinds is this is the state line, North Carolina and South Carolina. And they've got both flags up, the North Carolina flag and the South Carolina flag. And right now I've got one foot in each state. The state line celebration's happening right now, but it's only on weekends and we're here on a weekday. So if you happen to be here on a weekend, that's something you can look forward to. Going out now. Comfy? Yeah, really comfy. <laughs> <laughs> the park's name, Carowinds. Caro from Carolina and winds because of the winds that blow over the two states. And Carowinds opened in 1973. Here at the entrance when you go in, you can pick a South Carolina or a North Carolina entrance to go in through. See the entrance, welcome to South Carolina, welcome to North Carolina. That is unique. All right, Sam, time for a crucial decision. Do we go in through South Carolina or North Carolina? We're going through South Carolina. Yeah. We do get the state line celebration decorations though, and here, is the state line marker. Light blue, North Carolina, dark blue, South Carolina. You're in two states. I'm standing on the state line right now. I'm in South Carolina. I'm in North Carolina. I like this pretty sky tower, very red, white, and blue. Really pretty park entrance. I like that there's a Starbucks right here in the entrance. We're not stopping there though, because we made our own coffee. Oh, we're gonna walk through this pretty archway covered in plants and vines. I'm so curious about the logistics of how a park operates in two different states. I think it's mostly a North Carolina park though. I like the vibe so far. Lots of people today too. Very windy today. Lots of kids playing with basketballs too. So first ride of the day has got to be Fury 325. This is the fifth tallest roller coaster in the world and the tallest lift hill roller coaster in the world. Got a hornet there on the sign. I guess it's supposed to be as, as fast, buzz as fast as a hornet. First things first, gotta grab a locker. Let's see. I think we can fit both of our stuff in here, right? Yeah, easy. Yeah. Golden Ticket Award voted Best Steel Coaster.
No requesting the front and back row, but we ended up getting the front row just by waiting in that line. That was a lot of fun and I really, really liked it. I was a little bit scared because it's so tall and so fast, it's 95 miles per hour, but it was so smooth and so lovely. The only thing I can say is I had a hard time keeping my eyes open because it was so fast and there was so much wind and a single tear poured out from my eye, but we loved it. It was really fun, so I think we're gonna ride again. Another cool thing is when we were in the seats about to ride, we looked over there and saw a bunch of Halloween stuff. So it looks up like they're setting up for the Halloween Scarewind celebration. There's Sam. He's riding again. Nice. Amazing. I yeah. loved it. Yeah. The back row, front row. I think out of all the new coasters we've been on lately, that's definitely up there. Yeah, yeah. Like we've been going to a lot of new parks and yeah. trying a lot of new coasters. That's up there for me too. It's so smooth. Yeah, it's so fast, yeah. but like it feels so nice. And the views were really yeah. pretty too. You can see like downtown Charlotte. And how many coasters is your view of two different states? That is true. Uh, not it is many. true. Not many. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll get back on that later, but we got some other rides to try. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. But first, we're gonna get some merch in the Hive at Three Two Five store. They've got a lot of cute Fury Three Two Five merchandise, so we're gonna probably get at least a shirt each. I like the Hornets too. That's really cute. Today started out a little chilly, so I was wearing a long sleeve shirt, but in this house we stand. Fury 325. <laughs> next up, right next door, is Hurler. So I think we're gonna pop on, because why not, you know? So fun fact about this, mm -hmm. you have been on the updated version of Hurler because it had a sister coaster that was the same as this, a King's Dominion, that is now Twisted Timbers. Good old Twisted Timbers. I remember that, we rode that pretty recently. We can see Fury over there. We can see Hurler here. I don't love the name Hurler. Because <laughs> it was originally called that because it was themed the for Wayne's World. World, right? Are we gonna have some like Wayne's World on the TV here? So I always say my YouTube channel is like my cable access travel show. I get that from Wayne's World. <laughs> little fun fact for you. <laughs> Or placed in a bin on the exit platform. Oh, cool, they have bins. I love when rides have bins. Rider. Front row, always. liked it. I think we both like just old school wooden coasters. There's something about like having your center of gravity lower, like really feeling the track. You do get jostled around and shaken around and I can see why some people wouldn't like it, but for whatever reason, I do like it. It was it was really fun. We were just like, wee the whole time and yeah. Look at how pretty that is. Love the old Coca-Cola signs. Actually, that makes me think it's time for lunch. I love a park where in the walkways you walk underneath roller coaster track. They are doing the slingshot. Oy, oy, oy. $20. I think we'll just watch. Bye bye. Right into the sun. I can't even see where they are. Oh, that doesn't look so bad. Very pretty grand carousel. Let's take a really quick look at some merch here. Oh, I like it. 
That's a very cute shirt. Cute stuff. We'll definitely shop some more before we go, but right now we are on the mission for lunch. Harmony Hall. This looks like a good place. It looks like they've got a bunch of options. We weren't sure if it was open, but it says open? Open. Open. Yes, thank you. Oh, it's so cute. So again, we've got the North Carolina and the South Carolina flags and the USA flag. Look, they've got picks up and Snoopy. Everybody loves Snoopy, you got to. He's reaching out his arms like he wants a hug. This is cool, it's like a big food hall and it looks like there are several different options of food. So there's like pizza, barbecue, poke bowls, which that's a surprise. It smells really good. Decided on a poke bowl, this actually looks lovely. Um, so it's not a traditional poke bowl because it's not like fish, but there is shrimp to choose from. But I got chicken, rice, and like all the veggies and stuff. Avocado looks really fresh. They've also got nice salads. We just kind of feel like eating a little healthier today. <laughs> I like the drink selection too. They've got aguas frescas here. Sweet tea. It's really nice to have a healthier option in a theme park, especially when we've been on the road, we've been traveling, and you know, we try to eat as healthy as we can, but obviously there's, it's tougher on the road. So it's very nice to have something fresh and healthy looking. Try some of that chicken and rice. Really good. It looks like they're going to do a show. I don't know what, but a show. There's definitely a stage up here. I don't think there's any shows going on in here today, but that would be really cool. All right, all done eating back into the beautiful day. We really enjoyed that lunch. We feel full, satisfied, but like light and nice. I wish that uh, more theme parks had meals like that. We're really close to the Charlotte airport, so there's airplanes going by all day long. And this right over here is Intimidator. I think later maybe. There's a lot of fun atmosphere here too, like music and I can hear people screaming on roller coasters. It's really nice. Next up on the agenda, I know just what I want to do. I want to make my way to Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. Like the ride we rode at Kings Dominion. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but this is really pretty. But we'll find out. It's got a different facade, which I really like. Ghost eviction in progress. I love any kind of a spooky house. Scary dark ride, fun, good times. Let's do it. Welcome to Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. It's full of mean ghosts. Those who dare enter must battle Boocifer, the meanest ghost of all. But don't be scared, because we're gonna have our Boo Blaster to zap Boocifer and the ghosts away in our Boomobile. Oh, wow. It's just right straight yeah. on. Huh. Doesn't look like there's like a, a cool queue like there is at King's Dominion. Fun, it was very similar, but like slightly different too. Uh, to be honest, I don't remember every single thing. Yay! See in the King's Dominion version, there's a hallway you go in, it starts to immerse you. But here you just go like straight from the porch, straight in. But still, very fun. Glad they have something spooky and like a a creepy mansion you can go in. The newest ride here at Carowinds is Copperhead Strike. So I guess we should do it, right? All right, here we go. <laughs> cool theming here. Turn back. They bite. Snakes. A oh, little creepy, let's go. I really like the theming here. All right, this is a really cool queue. It's kind of creepy too. So this is a Mac ride ride like Icon, like Icon in uh, Black Hole Pleasure Beach, which I really liked. Some outhouses here. We told you about them snakes. Oh, 
apologize for the inconvenience. Oh. All clear dispatch. Just made an announcement that uh, the ride will be down temporarily. Oh, say ride. Awesome. At this time, please unbuckle your seatbelt, unbuckle, unbuckle your lap bars, and pump up, and you can exit to the very delayed ride operation. We do not know how long we will be. We apologize for the inconvenience and appreciate your patience. It's a temporary delay. Do we go or do we stay? Every couple of minutes, someone's leaving. That means we can't. Yeah, maybe we should leave. We already got a locker, though. That's a hard question. It seems like there's a lot going on. Like there's like a lot of people, clipboards, to... keys. We'll, tr we'll try again later. Yeah, we'll try again. We don't know what happened. The ride was running and then suddenly it went down. They've made about four different announcements. We saw like a sheriff, people with keys, people, uh, technicians, all sorts of stuff going on. So we were waiting to see if we could just hop on, but a lot of times passed. So we'll just try this ride again later. Oh, it's so quiet now without it running. Yeah. Oh, I hope we do get to ride it today though. While we were leaving, it came back up. So we ran back up and it looks like we're gonna get on. So I really did like the ride. There was a lot of hang time, but I did not love the feeling of the restraints. And I like that feeling. Yeah, what I did not like was the restraint, and I guess that's on purpose. People like the hang time, and I like hang time in theory. I was tensing my thighs to like hold on to the lap restraint because it only goes like up to here, like low. I don't know how to explain it. And but you go through like the inversion so slow. So, so you are hanging. You're just like. Yeah. Especially in the front row. Oh, I always love front row, especially for first time, because I feel like it just. Way I want to do it first and then after I can do like back row middle and whatever if I have a choice but overall you like the ride overall I really did yeah. like the roller coaster and I liked the like slow inversions and the turns and the like I, I did but I felt <laughs> not secure <laughs> not secure <laughs> so yeah um, I don't know if I would do it again today but I probably do it again another day when I forget how how, how, how the center restraint felt. Yeah, but really nice, really cool, and great theming too. We did purchase the fun pick, so the digital pictures today, but some of the booths are open and some aren't. So we're like writing down our time so that we can try to collect them at the end of the day. Sign says, don't be crabby, something new is coming soon. So it looks like something new is coming soon. There's a stand-up coaster here called Vortex. Now I did a stand-up coaster, right? Was it Drayton Manor? Yeah, Shockwave. Shockwave, and I liked it in the moment, but I'm not feeling up to doing a stand-up, but you're gonna do it, we're gonna watch you. All right, okay, have fun, okay. Bye, I'll watch you. I think this is him. That's him, it's Sam.
He says he didn't like it. He didn't like it. They've been sitting out there for longer than the ride was. Like for longer than the amount of time that you were actually on the ride, you sit out there in the sun. Well, actually stand out there in the sun, just baking. That was the worst. That was horrible. <laughs> the worst. That was the worst. Coming from it, Sam. I would ride Shockwave 10 times a day a minute before I ever would ride that again. And I will never ride that again. Wow. <laughs> Was the worst. So I made a good decision not riding yeah, this. You made a good decision. That was. I was stood up there for like. I saw. Like Twenty minutes. Well, like ten times as long yeah, as the ride. Yeah. It was horrible. It was painful, uncomfortable, made me feel dizzy. Oof. And I never feel dizzy. Yeah, you never. You're never bothered by rides, so this is shocking B &M to me. B&M have definitely gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sky Tower is finally going. First time we've seen it go all day. I've got to say that today is beautiful. It's 75 degrees. It's not hot. It's not cold. It's sunny and blue. It's really adding to the enjoyment of the day. Nighthawk's been down all day. We've come back to check a few times and then we noticed Nighthawk is scheduled to open late spring of 2022. So we won't be able to do this one today. We'll have to wait till a future trip, but Fun fact, this used to be a Borg themed ride and I love Star Trek so I would have really loved that. Well, that'll have to be for a future trip. Next thing we want to do is check out Camp Snoopy. It looks so cute. Look, it looks like Woodstock's the park ranger here. Definitely a lot of kiddie rides in here but really pretty theming. I love this fountain. I think I'm gonna hop on the Woodstock Express. Enjoy Woodstock Express. You having fun? After Vortex, this is what I need. Let's look in the camp store. All cute Snoopy merchandise. Lots of cute things. The classic Charlie Brown shirt. Tie-dye is it this year, man. It made a big comeback. I've been on a few inverted coasters like this. Um, Nemesis, Nemesis Inferno, Alpengeist, and I really like them all. So, I'm excited to do Afterburn next. Here we go up to the loading platform. wanted to try our clothes today like chickies and peats so next time J.R. Helms Mining Company what's this about there's about an hour until the park closes now so I think we're gonna hop on the Carolina Gold Rusher all right it looks like some good old-fashioned fun let's do it I like the cute little train theme let's see what's going on in here
Club is Carolina Road Director. For your own safety, you must be at least 48 inches tall to ride. to load them, a long time. And then there was a bunch of gum on the wooden boards, like a bunch of gum, you know, you know. Carolina Cyclone has not been running today. It's not running all day, but I love the aqua color and hopefully we can ride that next time when it's up and running. Earlier today, we purchased the Carowinds Fun Picks photo pass for the day, so now we're gonna go pick up our ride photos. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, there we are. We were so not ready yeah. for that one. Well, and then Carolina Goal Rusher. Oh, yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> Fun. On the way out, we noticed this quiet space. Something to be aware of. So if you need quiet space, worth asking guest services about it. But my goodness, today was definitely some kind of big field trip day. Picked up some Starbucks on the way out of the park, and now it's time to head home. It was actually a lot of fun visiting Carowinds, and we will definitely be back. I'm very intrigued about Scarowinds, is that what it's called? Scarowinds. Scarowinds, their Halloween celebration after seeing those pumpkins. We saw them from two different rides, so it looked really cool. But we have so much going on for haunt season. I don't know when we'll be back, but I know that we will. I think we really enjoyed pretty much everything we rode except for the standing coaster. Sam said that was not great. The worst. <laughs> the worst. The worst. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think we liked everything. It was a lot of fun. I think Fury 325 was the standout, right? Yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, Copper... I really liked Copperhead Strike. Yeah, that's what I was going to really say. Fun. Yeah, I liked Actually, it too. All of the rides were fun. Yeah. Apart from one. Yeah. Yeah, everything I rode was fun. And uh, it's just really pretty, really nice, and really like good vibes. Nice, nice day. It's cool how they like go into the two states. I really like that too. I feel like that's probably the most unique aspect of this park, that they embrace the two Carolinas worth of fun. I just think it's uh, something really special. Not every day you get to be in two states in one amusement park. I hope you guys had a lot of fun with us. Let me know what your favorite ride at Carowinds is. I know we did almost everything, but not quite everything. Some things were down and just the day just went by so quickly. But again, we'll be back. And with that, we are out of here. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm sending you all a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay hydrated and stay enthused. Bye.